All right, I switched the video to a horizontal view to make it better for the video, but I'm gonna hit player one start to go into the Daphne games, and there's a ton of different games in here, so let's check out Space Ace, which is one of my favorites. And then you just keep on going down, Cliffhanger, that's pretty cool looking. And then Dragon's Lair, which I actually know how to play because I've tested it about a million times. So I'm gonna press player one start to go into that game. And this is real time loading. And once it's on screen, then we can put credits on it and we can play it. We're in the game. Dragon's okay. Lair. I'm putting coins on it. Press start, I'm playing the game. I'm just using a joystick and maybe the first or second button for this game right here. Uh, I hit the wrong way and now I'm dead. That's how you play those games. Exit out and exit again and exit one more time. And we're back to the home screen of the PC if we wanted to try the other game systems. Now, that was Hyperspin, which is a video representation of the games. Now I'm going to bring up the other version. So if you just want to come in, grab a game, and go, this one's a little faster to get into, but it's essentially the same games. Um, so this is the MAME. It's a list version. And if you'll see over here, these folders over here represent the categories of the games. The only two folders we're worried about are the favorites folder, which is right here, and the working folder. The working folder is the main list of games. So if I want to see all of the thousands of games, I click on that. And you know, depending on um, which setup it is, you'll have anywhere from 8,000 to 12, 13,000 games. Um, now here's where the keyboard comes into play. If I have my keyboard out, I can just jump right to a game by typing in like PAC for Pac-Man. It'll jump right to it. If I don't have my keyboard out, then I can just use the scroll bar here and jump to where I want. Um, and, you know, just for Pac-Man, let's bring up Pac-Mania, which is a cool version of Pac-Man. Um, so I just highlighted that game up there. You see it's highlighted. And I'm just going to press Enter or Select. And it's going to load this game on screen. We got it on screen. Once again, it likes coins. Make your selections for which type of course you want to play. I'm playing Pac-Mania. Now this is a vertical game, that's why you see it doesn't take up the full screen like the horizontal games. That's completely normal. You wouldn't want to stretch this game out that way, it wouldn't look right. And it's got a jump button, which is cool here. Exit out, back to the list. Now if I want to add that list to my favorites, okay, up here, I'll take and right click on that game, add the custom folder, which would be a left click, and right there, just click OK, and it goes into my folders. Okay, or my favorites. Now I'm going to come back over here and click on my favorites, which I add a bunch of favorites in there so you don't have to search through thousands of games. So right now my favorites has 93 games in it, which I believe are some of the better classics. Um, I'll just read off some to you. Marvel vs. Capcom, Mario Brothers, Missile Command, Moon Patrol, Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Space Invaders, Frogger, Hyper Olympics, Galaga, um, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, NFL Blitz, Golden Tee Golf. So let's go ahead, since this is a, a Golden Tee themed cabinet, let's go ahead and check out the Golden Tee Complete, which any number of Golden Tee Golf games come on here. And since this is a PC-based system, I can add PGA Tour Golf, I can add Tiger Woods Golf, I can add any number of great golf games. And depending on the age of the game and stuff like that, depends on how quickly it loads on screen. The older games like Pac-Man load up pretty quick. This is a newer game, so it takes a little longer to load. Now, we will use the joystick for the, or the trackball for this game. Start button, left, right, backspin, flyby, and uh, I think that's it. So those are the buttons for that. And you just try them. Whenever you bring up a game you don't know how to play, you just try them and you figure it out and you're playing the game. So we got coins in, we got to put coins in, like always. I'm gonna select one or two players. And pick the course I wanna play. All 18. It says we need more coins, I'm gonna put more coins in. Mystic Hills on a drizzly damp after All right. So, 
press left, right, backspin, flyby, and if I hold the flyby button, it does the upwards view. Okay, just like the real Golden T, because it's already got all the stuff down here for us to do the swings. It shows you the different swing formats here, so it plays exactly the same as the game would in, in, a, in a bar. So I'm going to do a little A2 here. Maybe not that much. Pull it back. And I just hit a nice drive, which will end up in the fairway. So you can play up to four players on this game just like you can on a golden tee. Um, let me put a little backspin on this one. And hit it. Oh, I hit it. I messed it up. All right. Backspin again. There we go. Sit for me. There it is. All right. So... That's the gist of, of these two different types of game systems. Um, thousands and thousands of games. We have Pac-Man parties. We have Galaga parties. We'll have bowling parties. We'll have um, any number of type of games. We'll, we'll make a, a, you know, a tournament list and we'll have tournaments. Then we'll come down here and just play. What's nice about these systems Women like to play them because of all the different games. You know, most of the times women aren't going to play a standalone golden tee. There are some, but for the most part, women don't get into it like men. So that that is what the other games for, all the classic arcade games, which everybody from all ages can find and have fun with. And trust me, when you have this in your house, it's the coolest thing in the world for home entertainment. Um, there's really nothing better. This is what I put in my home, and uh, and it's awesome. You can do so many different things. You can surf the internet. You can play games. You can use it as a jukebox. You can use it as a karaoke system. Kids can do homework on it if it's necessary. You know, they can log into their Facebook account. They can do whatever they want that you can do on a normal PC in your home. And it's absolutely awesome. Like this video. Um, I appreciate any comments. Um, check us out at n2fun.com. N is a Nancy, the number two, fun.com. Like us. Check us out on Facebook and YouTube. Tell your friends about us. Thank you for your time.